Welcome to Soltron. I've got a few hours to spare, so I'm going to fix up Oni's sister here. And I'm going to... So I've got a few objectives. So the first objective is making this foot piece, so it's normally about here, retract into her skirt so that it'll be hidden in robot mode. So that's objective one. So that's going to be the most work. And then objective two is we're going to fix these knees so they can be turned upside down and integrate better into combined mode instead of sticking out like this which is what I currently have them doing I have them sit a little bit more flush with her thighs and then the last thing I want to do with Oni's sister here is getting these heel spurs just implanted into the back of her heels so she won't be falling over because she's going to be very back heavy once this foot is actually attached inside her skirt here. So those are those three objectives. And then let's take a minute and appreciate this nice chair that I made for Don Don Oni Taijin. Like, it's pretty good. And that's just made all out of Strux. And then of course if you unclip it the whole thing can just collapse and then he can carry it around for like a beach vacation or something. Okay, there he goes. And then one other little objective is there's a lot of junk in here that I need to sand out a little bit better so that this thigh will get one more click because it's not clicking right here. But this thigh can pretty much get into that sitting position no problem because it doesn't have all that plastic junk right there. So, I can also clean out the inside of his skirt here. Okay, so here's the parts I'm using to fix her. So these are gonna become the heels. And then I'm using this strong ball joint. I'm going to replace the entire ankle section with this ball joint. So that's gonna mount here. And then I'm going to use this second ball joint and that will attach to this orange ball joint so I'm going to sand this around and then just shove this the new peg right into this hole here to connect these two ball joints and then hopefully having a double ball joint will enable let's just rip her leg off here so we got a better view in here is going to enable so the foot defaults to this position so about here I want it to use those two ball joints to move this way and then collapse here so that it's filling up the entire skirt. So it should fit pretty nicely in there. And I'm gonna have to trim out all this extra plastic and this original joint um, that's currently taking up her skirt space so that this will just completely fill it up. So when in doubt, uh, my strategy is usually to use two ball joints and I'm going to use this socket for the other joint. Unfortunately I already have one of these cut so there it is. And now I just need to work on inserting this into this. Okay, so now I've sanded off the post of this orange ball joint, so now that fits pretty snugly into this brown one, or this dark gray. And then you have to make sure that this post is long enough that, that this can still basically spread around the stem here, so it gives the full range of motion. If you put them too close together, then this is going to crash into this piece into this socket because the sockets have a little bit of width themselves so you have to keep that in mind and then I'll probably glue this later on down the road okay now that I have this assembly I need to cut off most of this plastic I have to make this wide enough that the orange socket will fit inside the top of the foot here and just go all the way down so I'm also going to need to clip off the stem of this because it gets in the way I like to just use the needle nose pliers for this because it has a sharp bit. You basically do that, 
And then for the wider piece, I can probably get this in the wire cutter too. And then I'll just sand this more flush. So now this will seat into the top of the sneaker pretty much right there. And it can't go too deep because the heel, the whole assembly for the heel ratchet is also in here too. So I need this to go about here and end up right there when it's pretty much extended. So I'm gonna have to cut up the whole front of this and then these sides. And then the tool I like to use for that is the disc cutter. So this cuts through plastic really well. Okay, and then I'm just waiting for this to cool off because if it overheats, it'll become very brittle and it'll break very easily. So you have to be pretty gentle with these. Um, I think dipping it in water might help, but it's also helpful when it warms up that it cuts the plastic a little bit faster. So it's kind of useful to get it to overheat a little bit. So then I still just need to cut out the front of this. And then I'm going to cut out most of all this back garbage here because it's, it's going to end up getting in the way when this is shoved up into the skirt. So it's going to... So this section is going to end up clashing with where I installed the hips. So I'm going to need to cut most of this back here too, which is not even visible in robot mode, so it won't make any difference. And then while I'm waiting for that to cool off, I might as well start pulling all this apart. So I'll just pop her leg off here. And then I'm going to have to use, this is the polymorph plastic that I like to use. So I'm going to have to probably use another tool to get that off. So I should be able to get all this melted plastic off the yellow plastic by using these cuticle nippers and then I'm going to pry this knife tip and just wedge that in between and just go along here. I'm going to end up cutting all this plastic out of the way to make room for the foot anyway so it doesn't really matter if I damage all this in the process. Okay, now I was pretty much able to just yank all this plastic out. I put the plastic the polymorph plastic here to help hold this joint in place, but we're not going to be using this anymore because I'm replacing the foot assembly with ball joints. So now I can use my cuticles or my needle nose pliers and just start yanking all this polymorph plastic out. And you're going to want to put this aside because this stuff can be reheated and used again. Okay, so I got back to getting all that out. That took like 30 seconds. So now I'm going to go back to cutting up the back of this foot here and just getting all this excess plastic out of the way. Okay, so now I'm waiting for the cutting disc to cool off again. So I'm just going to go ahead and just mangle all this plastic off pretty much. Okay, and now this has all been cut away, so I reduced a lot of that plastic. And now I just need to fit the socket in here, and it doesn't quite fit, so I'm going to widen this up using this sanding drum. I'm just going to keep widening this until this can be nested in here with some polymorph plastic. Okay, so I sanded this out pretty well, so this fits pretty much perfectly. That wad of poly plastic that I pulled out of her skirt I'm going to now put in here, and then that'll secure this into place. It's a little bit off, but the more I customize, the more I forgive myself for being off for like a couple, a millimeter or so. It doesn't really matter. Or less than a millimeter, you might as well just let it go. So I just microwave the polyplastic in the microwave for two minutes with water. All right, and here it is hot out of the microwave, so I like to use this tool. It's pretty painful to touch, so you have to be pretty ginger with it. And I'm just going to stuff some right where I want the two pieces of plastic to connect. And then I'm going to use the socket here and just jam that in place. And then depending on the plastic, sometimes the polymorph will just hold that in place by itself. But sometimes you'll need to reinforce it with super glue. I use this Gorilla Glue. This works really well on these kinds of plastics. And while it's cooling off, it's probably a good idea to just neaten up the little parts that squirted out just to give it more contact area so you can possibly get a really good bond from that 
And I'm using these orange Strux ball joints because they're they tend to hold a lot better than these brown ones. These brown ones are better than Lego ball joints. They have more friction, but these have the most friction. So this will actually be strong enough to hold this guy up. Otherwise, he's just going to collapse under the weight with a ball joint that's this small. Okay, so now while I'm waiting for that to cure or to cool off, which probably takes about 15, 10 minutes, I'm going to now use my um, cutting disc and I'm just going to cut all this XX plastic that's inside her skirt, which is going to reduce the stability of the plastic, but it shouldn't make that much difference. So I'm just going to get rid of all these support structures. Actually, change of plans. This is just thin plastic, so I'm just going to go at it with the cuticle nippers and basically just start ripping it apart because sanding discs or cutting discs are prone to breakage and this just doesn't put anything at risk and it's really easy to break it anyway, so I'm just going to trim it all up. Using this, and it doesn't matter to me how nice these ragged edges are because they're all going to be on the inside and not really visible. Okay, so I've cleaned this up and now I notice I have a problem. When I put the foot in here, it's it's going to be right where her legs are at. So she's going to have to be really bow-legged to get around this giant foot that's in between her legs. So that means this joint is too high up. I need to re-nest this and move this whole thing way further down, which means I'm going to have to start clearing out some of this plastic. But this whole thing needs to move, be moved down a lot so that this will rest. Instead of resting here, it's going to rest more closely to here. Okay, so since I didn't glue this in place, thankfully, I can now just unscrew the foot. I'm going to have to yank this off, and I'm just going to rip up all this plastic in here, except for where the, where the toe or the heel needs to sit right here. So I don't need any of this space. That would be good space for the ball joint to be. Okay, I've hollowed more of the foot out, so now there's just really no plastic in there at all. This is going to sit really deep in the foot now. And then I covered this with plastic wrap so that while the polyplastic is cooling, I can move this back and forth. Because otherwise the polyplastic might stick to this plastic. Okay, now I need to wait for this polyplastic to cool. This is the kind of stuff that I like to buy. I, that's the only kind I've used and it's served me really well, so I just don't feel the need to change brands. So now I'm going to work on fixing these knees while I wait. So I'm going to have to rip this off because this is glued in place. And then I want to reinstall the ball joint more over here so the knee will stick out and actually be in front of this joint. And that way this leg can just turn all the way upside down. And then this knee pad is in the way too, so I'm going to use the, the disc cutter and just cut all this plastic out of the way. Okay, so now I'm going to remount the leg in this position. It used to be down here. So now I'm going to remount it here, and that will allow this to just turn upside down and then be a little bit more flush with the, the front of the thigh. So I'm just going to remount this by filling this with polyplastic and then just basically shoving that in there while it cools. Okay, so I've been thinking about this, and I definitely have some issues. So this is not going to snug in as deeply as I want it to so that's still gonna be right between her legs which is gonna make them too wide but I found out if I just turn the whole thing over and get the toe up here instead that makes a nice V shape for her legs to fit around and then this just fills up the entire skirt so that fits in pretty nicely I just have to have the ball joint here connect to this ball joint will just end up right here and that's probably going to cause some stability issues for the combined robot mode, but this is kind of the best solution I've got at the moment. So I'm going to try out this strategy and see what ends up happening. So I just need to really just connect this ball joint to this ball joint and then just mount this socket right in there. All right, and then here's the knee. So now rotating the leg around, it's more snug to the body. It used to be down here. Now it's up here, which is an improvement. So that objective was accomplished. Okay, so pretty much the last step I need to do is connect these two ball joints, because this one's now been mounted. I just need to connect this to here, so that just involves using this straw. The problem with the straw is that it's pretty weak, and if I torque this the wrong way, the straw is just going to bend in half. So I also have to reinforce this straw by putting this screw through it 
and then just cutting the screw off here. Okay, so here's the reinforced shaft, and I can probably just clip that off with this. It's gonna be a little bit difficult. Okay, here it is, our double joint. We're just gonna stick that here, and then stick the other end into the foot. So we've got basically a leg joint. Pretty messy in here, but what are you gonna do? Um, I probably didn't need to carve all that off, unfortunately, but oh well. Hindsight is 2020, so I'm going to get this out of the way. And then I probably am going to need to put a joint here so that this skirt will fold out a little bit more. But you can see that this does mate behind the hips now. All right, the recording time is about to end here, but there you go. There's the foot just jammed into the skirt. So it's a little bit funky, needs a little bit of work, but mission accomplished. All right, took about two hours, but we're all done. Her heels are in place, so she's not too back heavy with these new mods, and she doesn't need her third leg to stand up, so that's nice. Probably need to ball joint these elbows too. All right, here we go, he's standing up. Leg mode is working. The legs do not stick out so far in the back, so that's not a bad looking shoe. And this ball joint is holding, the secondary ball joint, little ifty, but He's working out just fine. And then finally, here he is back on his chair. All right, hope you enjoyed that. There's a lot of work. Um, let me know in the comments.